Technology has been a lifelong passion for my future vice president. This is important because I also wanted a vice president who shares my indignation about the participation of big tech as a partner in the censorship and the surveillance and the information warfare that our government is currently waging against the American people. And that's why I'm bringing on someone with a deep inside knowledge about how big tech uses AI to manipulate the public. I want a partner with strong ideas about how to reverse those dire threats to democracy and to our freedoms. I managed to find a technologist at the forefront of AI. She has spent the last decade relying on neural networks, artificial intelligence, and cutting-edge science to identify abuses in our government. She understands that the health of every American is a national security issue and a national security risk. Her work has proven time and again that health drives our economy, that it is the foundation of our mental health, our national happiness, our ability to lead the world in innovation and in prosperity and in peace. I also wanted someone who was an athlete who could help me inspire Americans to heal, to get them back in shape. And I'm happy to report that my vice president is an avid surfer. <laughs> who, attend, who attended school on a softball scholarship. I want it right here in Oakland. I wanted someone who was battle tested able to withstand criticism and the controversy and all the defamations and slanders and perjuries that are thrown against anyone who embarks on a presidential campaign. I wanted an advocate who has seen corruption of our regulatory agencies firsthand, who shares my indignation about the way it allows regulated industries to commoditize our food, our wildlife, and our children. I wanted someone who would honor the traditions of our nation as a nation of immigrants, but who also understands that to be a nation, we need secure borders. I, I wanted a partner who was a gifted administrator, but also possesses the gift of curiosity, an open, inquiring mind, and the confidence to change even her strongest opinions in the face of contrary evidence. I wanted someone with a spiritual dimension and compassion and idealism and above all, a deep love for the United States of America. And I found all of those qualities in a woman who grew up right here in Oakland, the daughter of immigrants who overcame every daunting obstacle and went on to achieve the highest levels of the American dream. So that is why I'm so proud to introduce to you the next Vice President of the United States, my fellow lawyer, a brilliant scientist, technologist, a fierce warrior mom, Nicole Shanahan. <laughs> Hello. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Nicole before we bring her out here. We're going to see a video. And Nicole's personal story began in Oakland. She was the daughter of impoverished immigrants. She grew up on food stamps and welfare in this city, beset by many, many other unique challenges, all of which she overcame. Her very, very American journey took her to a career as a patent attorney and as a Silicon Valley tech entrepreneur and as a Stanford University fellow. 
Like many of us, Nicole assumed our government was working for our people, that our defense and intelligence agencies wanted peace, that public health agencies wanted us to be healthy, that the USDA supported wholesome foods and family farms, that the EPA would stand up for clean air and clean water, that the Fed wanted prosperous America, that the Democratic Party was on the side of the middle class, the working poor, and Main Street small businesses, that scientists were incorruptible, and that the, that the science was a search for, for an exalted search for the truth, and that the President of the United States could always be counted on to defend free speech. I, too, used to believe those things. Do you remember those days? And she'll tell you that she now understands that the defense agencies work for the military-industrial complex, that health agencies work for big pharma, that the USDA works for big ag and the processed food cartels, that the EPA is in cahoots with the polluters, that scientists can be mercenaries, that government officials sometimes act as censors, and that the Fed works for Wall Street and allows millionaire bankers to prey upon, upon Main Street and the American worker. And that's why Nicole and I both left the Democratic Party. Our values didn't change what the Democratic Party did. The things that we love are still the same. We love our families, our children, and our faith. We love clean air and clean water and productive soils and good food. We love the wilderness and our Purple Mountains majesty. And above all, we love our country. We We want America to live up to her highest ideals. We want her to be an exemplary nation again, a global leader in freedom, opportunity, and responsible government. We want America to be a peacemaker, a moral authority. We want our children to grow up as I did, in a country for which they feel love and pride. We want them to feel safe, and to have every opportunity for dignity, prosperity, and community. We want them to have confidence in their futures. We want them to have the best education. We want America to be friendly to farmers and entrepreneurs. We want America to honor its veterans and its teachers. We want scientists to stand up for science and for truth. And we want our government to defend our right to free speech. Nicole and I share all of these values. And you know what? Despite the artificially orchestrated divisions, nearly all Americans share the same values that we do. And I'm grateful that Nicole has put her self-interest aside and made the momentous and very, very difficult decision to embark with me on this extraordinary crusade to win back our country. I was most importantly looking for... You are for listening to a... Robert F. Kennedy Jr. announcing his running mate, Nicole Shanahan. He is there in Oakland, California, where Shanahan grew up. Uh, he is, Boris, trying to get on the ballot in 23 states where it is mandatory that he has a vice presidential candidate. So uh, as they try to collect signatures and get on those ballots, uh, that, is, that is why he's announcing so early. This is typically early right. in the Veep stakes process. Yeah, absolutely. He, he mentioned that he was looking for uh, someone who had a passion for health, uh, for healthy food, good soils, someone who had uh, indignation 
that he shares against big tech, a passion for freedom of speech as he spouted several dubious claims uh, during his speech, specifically about federal agencies, others sprinkled in there as well. No mention of the fact that he needs a vice president to get on the ballot in November and also her very deep pockets. She spent about $4 million helping him to get uh, this Super Bowl ad on the air that was evocative uh, of his family of, of JFK when he ran in the 1960s. He did mention his father uh, giving a story about the importance of listening in enacting public policy. Uh, nevertheless, uh, RFK Jr. there uh, making his announcement as Nicole Shanahan becomes his running mate, a third party candidate who has gathered significant support in some key states. A CNN poll had him in the mid teens uh, in the battleground states of Pennsylvania and Michigan last week. So, something to watch for there.